OK, so let's say I wanted to find the median lower quartile and upper quartile for this histogram. OK, so how you would do that, because it's uh, grouped continuous data, I'm just going to divide the total frequency uh, by 2 so um, to find the median. So we'll be looking at the 25th value along. OK, so for this one, um, conveniently, 5 and 20 make 25. And so right at the end of that point, that 8 would be the 25th value. OK, so the median directly from this would just be um, 8. OK, because the 25th value would be right at the end of that grouping. So it makes sense that the median is 8 from this uh, from this diagram. Now, as for the lower quartile, okay, now the lower quartile is going to be the 12.5th value along, 50 divided by 4. And now the 12.5th value is going to be somewhere between 6 and 8, because once we've gone through 5, we're going to get through uh, 20 to get to the next grouping. So by that time, I've already gone past the 12.5th value. So the 12.5th value is going to be between 6 and 8. OK, so it's going to be somewhere in this bar here. So if I draw a number line going between the 6 and the 8, and the value that I want to find, I'll call x, then um, for 12.5, I know that that's the 12.5th value along. I know that by the time I reach 6, I've gone through 5 data points. And by the time I reach 8, I've gone through 25 data points. OK? So you use this method of interpolation, as it's called, in order to find that lower quartile. So the idea is the ratio of that distance to that distance. So the ratio of x to 6 and 8 to 6 is the same as the ratio of that distance to that distance. OK? So what you can then do is solve that equation. So we do 12.5 take away 5 and divide that by 20. And then we multiply that by 2. So 8 take away 6 is 2. Multiply that. And then add on the 6. And what I get is 6.75. And that is my lower quartile. Now, when we did it for the uh, cumulative frequency, we estimated it to be 7. OK? Really depended on the accuracy of the graph. OK? So this is the interpolated result. Uh, and you might say a more accurate figure because it's reduced uh, the error of the problem of drawing the cumulative frequency correctly. So let's find the upper quartile in a similar method. Okay. Now, if the median hadn't been at the end of a grouping, then you would have done the same method to find the median. Okay. Um, so, the, we've got 50 divided by 4 times by 3. So we're looking for the 37.5th value. So we've gone through 5, 25, and then we get to 40. So the 37.5th value is between the 8 and 10 grouping. So it's somewhere in here. So here's 8, here's 10, and that value I'm now looking for, let's call it x again, or let's call it y, it's just so we've got some different value, a different letter. And we are looking for the 37.5th data point. We know at the beginning of the group we hit uh, 25 data points, and at the end of the grouping we're at 40. Okay, so. We're going to work through a similar calculation. The ratio of that distance to that distance must be the same as the ratio of that distance to that distance. So then that gives you an equation to solve. So 37.5 take away 25, 
uh, divided by 40, take away 25. That gives me 5 sixths. I multiply that by 2 and then add on the 8. So that gives me 29 thirds or 9.6 recurring. Okay, 9.6, 7 to 3 sig fig. Okay. So um, I believe we got uh, 10 uh, from our estimate for the cumulative frequency. OK, so that's how we can use interpolation to calculate the uh, median and quartiles from a histogram, but also from uh, grouped frequency.